Yeah, well, one, two, one, two. Okay. All right, so hey, guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, by the title, we are playing episode, you guys' favorite game, you guys' favorite videos on my channel. Um, We are doing episode five of My Sister's Crush. So let's get into the game. Let's see what's happening. Last time, we fought a bitch. So let's see what's going to happen today. I'm excited. This game is so interesting. I feel like it's my life because I don't have one. It's fine. Um, so yeah, let's go. What could possibly be funny? I owe you a huge apology. I was underestimating you. I want you to know, no matter what happens next, personally, I'm super proud of you. Thanks for having my back. You're a good friend. You would do the same for me, right? You're damn straight, I would. Damn, we're in the warden's office. My daddy's office. Oh, that sounds gross. My dad's office. Let's just say this. He'd like to speak with you one by one, starting with you, Bella. Thank you. See you after. Good luck. Long time no see, huh? I have to say, I knew I'd see you again. I just didn't expect it to be your first day here. I know how this probably makes me look, but I swear it was self-defense. Who threw the first punch? The one with the curly hair. Cass, I think her name is. I know her well. Most of the girls seem to fear her. Is it true you knocked her out? Yeah, well, one, two, one, two. I was just protecting Trixie, I swear. They were going to seriously hurt her. Bella, I believe you. Wait, really? Those girls have a very heated rivalry with Trixie. Not to mention, this happens to all the new kids that come here. But I must say, you surprised me. You're tougher than you look. So I keep telling everyone. My sister used to beat me up when we were kids all the time. She, of course, always convinced mom that I had started it. But eventually, I learned how to defend myself. When she could no longer hurt me that way, she began to think of more creative ways. Well, I underestimated you. I'm sorry for that, Bella. That being said, may I give you a word of advice? Sure. I understand it's easier said than done, but keep in mind this place is only temporary in your life. I can tell you're a good kid. You're not a criminal. Just make sure you don't let this place turn you into one. Stand up for yourself, but choose your battles. Does that make sense? Makes sense. I promise I'll keep that in mind. I'm not looking forward to explaining this to your mother. Um, Linda. Is that really necessary? You're still a minor. If you're having any issues, I'm afraid I must keep her informed of them. It makes sense, I guess. But it still really sucks. I was totally cheated on the whole parent front. My mom doesn't have a clue. My sister is a sociopath. And my father? Oh, no. Oh, no. Who the hell knows what the story is with him? Your mother never told you much about him? They were high school sweethearts or whatever. But he played into the stereotype. Dropped her ass fast when she got pregnant. Well... I would have dropped her too. Have you met Linda? Yikes. She was pretty much on her own after that, but she eventually found some happiness, right? I'm not sure if I've ever seen my mother happy. Being sad and tired is kind of her default mood. I used to think it was something I was doing, but I don't really know. Believe me when I say, I'm sorry to hear that. Is it just me or has this conversation gotten really personal? Quick, subject change. I don't necessarily like violence, but it did feel good standing up for myself for once. I actually want to thank you. It was in part something you said that inspired me. What was that? I decided I didn't want to give those girls power over me. I'll admit, I might have gotten a little carried away though. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, a brawl in the yard isn't exactly what I had in mind, but I'm glad my words resonated with you, Bella. Why don't we let you go with a warning this time? Really? All signs point to self-defense. What about Trixie? It wasn't her fault at all. I'm sending Miss Burke out. Please see that Bella and Trixie are escorted back to their room. Then send in Jerry next, please. I've determined that Bella and Trixie both acted out of self-defense. Yes, sir. Thank you, Warden. Well, I... Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm just so used to not being believed. I... Can I ask you one more question before you go? But Just a curious question that's totally not my business or anything, but... About your father. Do you think you could ever forgive him? If you found out he was sorry, I mean. Every abandoned kid fantasizes about that, I think. Even someone as cold as my sister. Our father shows up after all these years of silence with some huge explanation why he did what he did. Turns out... He didn't forget all about us. The truth is, more times than not, that's a lie. He left because he wanted to. He stayed away because he thought he was better off without us. I guess part of growing up is accepting that. Doesn't make it fair. But since when is anything ever fair? What if you found out he did want you? Would it be too late? Really? Like I said, I got cheated on the whole family thing. Hypothetically, if he were truly sorry, I'd be willing to meet him halfway. What does that have to do with anything? Like I said, just a curious question. You and Trixie are free to go. Well, thanks again, Warden. Come on, Trixie, let's go. <laughs> Good luck, Cass. <laughs> let's go. Me too? You too. He believes it was self-defense. Jerry, I think you're up next. 
This isn't over, bitches. If karma doesn't catch up to you, I sure as hell will. Care to repeat that, Jerry? Thought so. So wait, you're actually serious. Your sister went through all of that just to get rid of you? Let's just say the whole evil twin cliche, totally accurate in my case. Damn, I know you said your sister was mean, but that's cold to think. I used to be jealous over people who had a twin. Well, listening to your story has got me wondering, is your mom completely brain dead or what? How could she not know who your sister is after all these years? Or you, for that matter. While we're at it, what exactly is your sister's problem? The easiest answer from what I can say is that there are- Certainly sounds like it. You mean, besides you? I suppose there was someone. Just in chance that I was right. That you do feel alone and you don't think anyone sees you. I just wanted you to know that I see you. I miss Hartley. Can he come back in the story and come visit me in prison? Ooh, someone got bit by the love bug. I did not. I only met him before I got sent here, Trixie. Not to mention, he's out of my league. It's ridiculous. He was just really sweet and well it doesn't matter now anyways i was sent here before i really got the chance to know him by the time i'm let out i'm sure he will have forgotten all about me if he hasn't already i thought we agreed people need to stop underestimating you we did so why are you allowed to do it thought so mic drop boom <laughs> look, look it sounds to me like you meant something to him burke you got a visitor is it harley if it's my mother, send her away. You can go back, she belongs to the streets. She belongs to the streets. My mom? No, some boy. Dark, tall, and a handsome type. So you like me? Okay, that was a little bit extra, but it's fine. O-M-G. It's Harley. I knew it! What did I just say? He obviously isn't forgetting about you anytime soon. Sometimes it feels like Harley is the only one who knows the real me. He makes me feel like I could do anything I set my mind to. God, you two are just too cute. So what are you waiting for? I dare you to run up right now and kiss your man. Take me to him. Oh, I can take a man if I want to. Okay, anyways. Harley. Oh my god, whoa, 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 whoa! I can't believe you're here. Of course, I miss you like crazy. Although, if it means our reunions will always go like this. Oh, come on. I miss you too. You, um, you still have the bracelet. Is that allowed in here? I couldn't let them take it from me. So, how is everything? How are you doing in here? Her bracelet's not even on her wrist. Where is it at? Oh, you know, we sleep in cold concrete rooms with a single sheet. We shower in a big open room. But honestly, it's not that bad. Really? That was not the response I was expecting. I mean, compared to my real life, no doubt this is better. It's like I didn't appreciate how chaotic my home life felt until I experienced all the structure here. There's some drama, but it's not family drama. I'm actually kind of happy. And beyond that, I've met some really cool people in here. Does that surprise you? Considering that you're in here, not at all. If I had to guess, there's a lot of other cool people in here. And now there's one more. I still can't believe you're in here, Bella. Have you felt safe? There's bound to be a few bad apples in here, along with the coolest chicks on earth who were framed by their twin sisters. Actually, I got into a brawl my first day here. Not something you say, but... What? Yeah, I sort of kicked this girl's ass. Are you serious right now? Who even are you? How did you end up in a brawl where you kicked some girl's ass on your first day? It's pretty simple, really. She was bullying my friend, so I had to do something about it. Who are you and what have you done with Bella? No, but in all seriousness, I always knew you were a great person, but stepping up to defend your friend like that? You're a hero, Bella. Oh wow, I hadn't thought about it that way. How do you always know just what to say to boost my confidence? Well, like I said, you take such good care of people. I guess I thought it was time somebody showed you love too. <laughs> Can someone show me love? <laughs> I don't have that. I mean it, Bella. Anybody would be lucky to have you in their life. I know I am. You know what? I'm starting to believe that. In fact, being in here is sort of giving me a whole new sense of self. How so? I'm realizing there's nothing wrong with me. I'm pretty cool. I'm smart and loyal and... And turns out I'm a badass too. I'm so glad to hear you say that. Well, I came here to let you know I'm still reading you out there and I can't wait for you to get out of here so we can spend more time together. I swear the stars were so bright the other night, constellations I've never even seen before. But all I could do was think about how much better it would be if you were there. Soon I will be, but it be soon enough. Visiting hours are over. Visitors, please make your way to the exit. Already? 
Harley, thanks so much for coming to see me. Of course, I'll see you soon. Bye, Harley. I understand, sweetheart. I love you. Hey, mom, is something wrong? Your father is working late again. He's having an affair. Ever since he got that promotion at work, he's under a lot of pressure. I understand he can't be in two places at once. I just feel like we never spend time together as a family anymore. But enough about me. What are my two wonderful sons up to tonight? Anything exciting? Why, yes, since you asked. Axel and I are having dinner with the most beautiful woman in the world. Who? You, of course. Oh, sweetie, I wasn't trying to make you feel guilty. If you two have plans already, nothing's more important than you. Any guesses on what we're gonna cook for you? Not your chicken and shrimp ca Not your chicken and shrimp cabanero. Wait, cabanero? Cab cabanero. I don't know. If that's all right with the queen of the house, I just need to go to the store and pick up some of those red peppers you like. Oh, let me do that. If you boys are cooking, I wanna at least help in some way. If you're sure, you've made your old mother so happy, Harley. I'm so blessed to have you. Axel, get in here. Is yelling really necessary? I'm ready to go anyway. Yeah, about that. Uh, slight change of plans. What did you do? I sort of promised mom we were having dinner with her tonight and that I was cooking. Any particular reason? Because she's our mother? She gives us our whole life. We can give her one dinner. Okay, understood, calm down. My brother the saint always making me look bad. You don't need my help to do that. If I had actual feelings, that would have hurt. Now, let's get started on this dinner. You mean you're actually helping? How useless do you think I am? Don't you dare answer that. Ew, Linda. Linda Burr? Wait, what? Our parents know each other? I'm so confused. What is going on right now? Maria Hunter? It's so good to see you. It's good to see you too. I'm really sorry for not keeping in touch after high school. That's okay, Linda. You had a lot on your plate back then. What with the pregnancy and Walt leaving you deal with it alone? You were always so kind to me, Marie. I really appreciated it. What are friends for? So, how are your kids now? Um, uh, well, one of them is in prison, and she's kind of like talking to your son. Oh no, have I said something wrong? No, it's nothing you've done. This is just embarrassing. Yeah, for you, because you're a dumb bitch. Oh my god, I can't stand her mom. Ugh, she says that, she thinks I'm an she thinks that her daughter is an embarrassment. Mm -mm. You have nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm sorry if I upset you, Linda. Is it anything you feel like talking about? I'm just having issues with my daughters. I feel like I'm failing and I don't know how to stop myself. Say, what do you say coming over for dinner at my house? It's just me and my sons tonight. The two of us have lots to catch up on. Wait, hasn't Linda met Harley? She was like, who is it? Has she? Oh, did she? No, I can't remember. And they won't mind. I suppose I could use a friendly ear. Good. Then it's settled. You're coming with me. Ew. Satan's in the house. Boys, I'm back! Did you find the red peppers? That's not all I found. What does that mean? Can both of you come in here for a moment, please? I want you to meet someone. Okay. I'm so excited for you to meet them. Harley is as sweet as the days are long. Axel is a bit rougher around the edges, but... Deep down, he's got a good heart. You certainly weren't lying about your boys being handsome. My daughters would... Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> My daughters would lose their hearts for sure. Well, one of your psycho bitch daughters um, really did lose her mind. And then your other daughter is actually kind of talking to one of them. But um, you, t you send her away and then, yep. That's that. Are your daughters hot? Axel Hunter. It was a joke. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Boys, this is Linda Burke. She and I were great friends in high school. Linda here has daughters around your age, you know. Maybe we know them. What are their names? Let's just hope I haven't hooked up with them or something. My daughter's names are Bella and Olivia. Oh, sh**. They're both shook. They wouldn't happen to be identical twins, would they? You know them? What are the freaking odds? Those girls are everywhere. Sore subject, my bad bro. You're Bella's mother. Am I missing something? So damn much. Like your brain? Wait a minute. The day they ditched school. Are you the one with the motorcycle? The one Olivia said Bella was smoking with? What is she talking about? Oh, great. Linda, you're getting me shit for nothing. What's this about ditching school and smoking? Are you also the one who came to the house? The one that was in Bella's room? What's this about a bedroom? Way to go, Harley. Shut up, Axel. Harley, what have you done? Is there something going on between you and Bella? You mean besides the fact that he's in love? 
You know what? Axel's really not helping the situation at this point. <laughs> I actually hate you right now. Look, Bella and I barely know each other. We just met that day the girls came to the house and I didn't know that they were coming, I swear. They just showed up with Trevor. Who's Trevor? Trevor is a friend of Harley's. He was also Olivia's boyfriend. Olivia has never had a boyfriend. You're lying. How about you watch the way you speak to my brother, lady? Axel! Axel what? This lady has massive balls to come into our house and call my brother a liar. Period! Harley is a lot of things, but he is no liar. I'll admit, I didn't understand my brother's soft spot for your daughter, but now, after meeting you, even I feel bad for her. And I'm a total douche. Why don't you go check on dinner and let us talk to Harley? Just when it's getting good? Okay. Fine. Even I can take a hint sometimes. Listen, Linda, I apologize for Axel's rudeness, but he was right about one thing. Harley is a good young man. He's still young and so he makes mistakes, but he's not a liar. If he says nothing happened with your daughter, I'm inclined to believe him. Just like that, he's my son. He's never given me a reason to not trust his word. You mean besides ditching school? My mother tries keeping an open mind. She's not the kind of mother who would not hear her children's side and ship them off to a correctional facility. What did you just say? What's that supposed to mean, Harley? Why don't you ask your friend, mom? Because she knows exactly what I mean. How dare you? Harley Hunter, you watch your tone. I've never known you to talk so harshly. So much for respect, huh? I suggest you watch the way you speak to me. Oh, bitch, if you don't get up out of my house right now, oh my god. I've had a very bad day. I bet your day wasn't nearly as bad as Bella's. None of this is your business. Bella is a cool person. Even I know that, and I just met her. If you paid any attention to her at all, you'd know that too. You might also notice that Olivia, on the other hand, is a sociopathic liar and a conniving little... Unfortunately, your head is too far up your own ass to see much of anything. Ladies and gentlemen, the volume inside of this bus is astronomical. Harley, how dare you judge me when you just met each other? Did you not do the same thing to me just now? I'll admit that ditching school was stupid, but I'm glad I did because I wouldn't have met Bella otherwise. I'm getting some fresh air. I'd be lying if I said I understood any of this. Harley has always been such a gentle soul. He must have taken a real liking to your daughter. He's right about one thing. Everything is so wrong and it's my fault. When Richard left me after I became pregnant and my parents abandoned me, I wanted so badly to leave I could do it all on my own. But somehow I managed to mess everything up with my children and I don't know how to fix it. But you want to fix it, right? More than anything in the world. That means there's hope. I forgot what a kind person you were, Marie. I hope you'll still stay for dinner. I'd still like to stay. Great, I guess we better have a talk with Harley. Please make yourself comfortable. That first night was the worst. I felt as if I might go crazy. I finally just gave up on sleep and went and sat down, lost in my own thoughts. I reminded myself over and over again what both the warden and Trixie had said. It was all just temporary. The problem was in that moment, it didn't feel temporary. It felt like I just might be trapped in that little room for the rest of my life. One thing was for sure, if I ever did get out of there, the first thing I'm doing is finding a way to make Olivia answer for what she's done. Hey you, got room for one more on this bench? I didn't wake you, did I? Meh, it's okay. The first night is the hardest for everyone. You'll get used to it. First things first, we have got to work on your confidence. I admit, I don't know much about your situation since we just met, but there's something I do know, which is your sister is a sad, very insecure person. That's just a fact. How do you know when you've never met her? Only lonely, miserable people feel the need to spread around that kind of negativity. Trust me on this. I know a thing or two about bitches being bitches. I'm sure you do. The point is, she's miserable. Misery loves company. So she's done everything to convince you that you were the inferior twin. Whether you like to admit her or not, you're totally buying into it too. So first, we're gonna work on your confidence. Help you see that there's a badass in there dying to get out. We don't know how much time you have in here, so we have to make the most out of every moment. So you can go back home and put that bitch sister of yours in her place. Thank you for everything, Trixie. I have to admit, as much as it sucks in here, I'll be really sad when I have to say goodbye to you. I'm sure we'll see each other again. But for now, we can make the most of being here together. It doesn't look like you're getting to sleep anytime soon. Like I said, the beginning was tough for me too. If you want, I can show you a trick that helps me relax and fall asleep. You do that for me? Of course, I told you, I got your back. Against Mean Girls and Insomnia. So what do you say? Can I share my secret tried and true methods of relaxing with you? Actually, that would be awesome. Okay, 
First, you want to make sure you're totally comfortable, meaning no tense muscles, no extra pressure on any part of your body. Okay. No, Bella. No talking. Okay, make sure you're totally comfortable in your space. Make sure you release any tensions you have in your muscles in one deep inhale and exhale. Now you're going to go to my happy place. It's a beach in Jamaica. I want you to imagine you're lying at the most perfect beach in the world. Palm trees and lush flowers all around you. Warm, crystal clear blue water and white sand that's soft as a cloud. The sand is perfectly soft all around you. The sun is setting just over the horizon and it's twilight now. There's no one else at the beach. Just you and your best friend. The stars have started coming out. The birds are chirping goodnight to each other. And all you hear is the soft crashing of the waves just beyond your feet. Take a deep breath in and exhale all the time. And even though I hadn't known her that long, I was so glad she was with me. For the first time ever, I had a friend. The moon is out now. A new moon. A sexy little sliced silver moon. It's framed by all your favorite constellations. The sky has gone from orange to purple to deep, deep blue. As the waves crash softly just beyond your feet, you're safe and no one will hurt you here. Night princess. Oh, that's so nice. Thanks so much for dinner, you two. Yes, thank you. It's been so nice to see you, Linda. Yeah, a real joy. We need to do this again. Please do not. Mom, may I speak to Miss Burke alone for a moment, please? Of course you can, honey. Axel, would you like to come help me with the dishes in the kitchen? And miss the tea brewing right here in the living room? Oh. Why, I'd love to do the dishes after cooking, mother. Ooh, 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 can I take the trash too? That would give me just enough time to sip on a non-alcoholic beverage while watching paint dry. Please let me do the dishes, please. I'll call you tomorrow, Linda. Yeah. <laughs> So, what did you want to talk about? Well, since you're friends with my mom, I wanted to try to make peace spell earlier. I promise I don't usually talk to people that way. I suppose I should be grateful that you feel so strongly about standing up for my daughter. I was telling the truth earlier when I said I just met your daughters that day they came to the house. Yes, I ended up coming over to your house to see Bella, but I'm afraid you've been given the wrong impression of my motives. So what are your motives exactly? That day your daughter came to the house, Bella was very uncomfortable. She refused to come inside and wanted to be taken to school. But that's not what Olivia told me. Olivia... Olivia was dishonest with you, Miss Burke. I'm aware that you'll be inclined to believe her over someone you've just met, but I believe I owe it to Bella to tell you the truth. Go on. I only talked to Bella for a few minutes, but there was something about her that seemed very sad and lonely to me. To be honest, if you would have heard the way Olivia spoke to her, never in my life have I heard someone be so cruel. Bella just looked so broken. I kept thinking about it all that week. So I went to the house that day because... She just seemed like she could use a friendly face. Some kind words. Because you don't think she's getting that at home? Do you? Can you look me in the eye and tell me that you remember the last time someone showed her some kindness? She's in a correctional facility for crying out loud. You don't think that upsets me? I'm her mother. Are you Bella's mother or Olivia's? Because from where I'm standing, there's one twin who's getting the short end of the stick. Did you ship Bella off because it's what's best for her? Or was it for what's best for you? How dare you? No, how dare you? Olivia is mean, selfish, and treats everyone around her like crap. A lot of people are afraid of her because she's a bully. Not only that, but she also drinks and smokes. It was actually her at the party as a matter of fact. But tell me, when's the last time she was actually punished? For literally anything. Meanwhile, Bella is locked up at some kitty prison. That's bullshit. You know, I'm always inclined to feel sorry for you. I think somewhere inside you, you love both of your daughters. But you want to know what stops me from having pity? It's that heartbreaking look on Bella's face. Her other daughter puts it there and you're enabling it. So with all due respect, ma'am, if I were her, I'd leave you and my bitch sister and never look back. Drive safe going home. Trixie was determined that it would be only a matter of days before I was released. But the days turned into weeks. Weeks turned into a month. I was still locked up. I still rarely heard from my mother or sister. So you're telling me that they never visited her? That's actually so rude. And just as Trixie had promised, I found myself changing. A lot. We're gonna keep what we have. We still wanna be like ourselves, but a little bit different. Is badass Bella in the house? <laughs> okay, so not everything changed. Why am I not surprised to find you here reading a book? You could at least try to hide the judgment in your voice. Girl, you're already a freaking genius.
At this point, you're just showing off. So, what's on your mind? We need to do something about Jerry. She's become more than just annoying. How so? Before I tell you, promise me you're not gonna go running to your other bestie and snitch. I hate when you call the warden that. He's not my bestie. Although, it was true. We had developed a certain level of respect between us. He honestly cared about the kids here and he made my time there so much more bearable. I never really understood why, but he always seemed to have my back. He's totally your bestie. Anyway, don't go snitching to him, please. I'm pretty sure some of the other girls are getting high and I think Jerry and her minions are the ones providing it. I mean, you know about Jerry's history with selling drugs. Haven't you noticed that they've been more shady than usual lately? I suppose it would make sense. Well, let's go pay her a visit then, shall we? Burke. Yes, officer Q-tip. How many times must I tell you girls? That is not my name. What was it that you needed exactly? I want you to come with me. Warden wants to speak with you. I guess we'll deal with this when I get back. You know where to find me. Are you sure about this, Linda? I'm positive, Walt. We all knew this day was coming, right? Besides, don't you think Bella will be happy? She's finally coming home. She hasn't seen her family in over a month. That's your fault though, because you didn't come visit me. That's my point, Linda. Look, I just want you to be prepared for this. If you're expecting some warm welcome when you see her, you'll be disappointed. She's still angry with me? No offense, but wouldn't you be? The urine sample she took came back negative and you still wouldn't let her leave. Neither you nor Olivia came to visit her or even once wrote her the whole time she was here. Do you have any idea how that must have made her feel? Let's be honest, Linda. The reason you've done nothing to fix anything this past month? The reason you've left her in here this long? The reason you never came to visit? It all comes down to one thing. You don't want to own up to what you put this girl through because it will mean that you will have to own up to the fact you failed as a mother. How dare you, Walt? You of all people really telling me you of all people telling me I failed as a parent, really? Maybe I've made mistakes, but at least I showed up. Look, maybe I shouldn't have said that. I know I've made my own mistakes, but at least I own up to them. Took you long enough, didn't it? Now, if you're done insulting me, I'm coming to pick up my daughter. First of all, she's our daughter. Second of all, that isn't my only concern. Well, what else? Bella has changed. I just want you to be prepared when you pick her up. She won't be how you remembered. How much could she have changed in a month? In this place, you'd be surprised. I distinctly remember warning you that this place changes people. Just make sure she's ready when I get there, please. I'll be there very soon. And Bella is coming home tonight. Come on in, Bella. Now, how the hell did you know it was me? I could hear the sass in your knock. Besides, I was expecting you. Whatever you've heard, I didn't do it. You're not in any kind of trouble, Bella. But there's something important that I need to tell you. Bella, your mother is on the way. She should be here any minute. But she's never come to visit me. She's not coming to visit you, Bella. She's come to take you home. Home as in, as in you're leaving here. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. Why now? You'll be starting school soon. She wanted you to have a little of the summer left before you do. Well, how generous of her. Bella, we both know this day would come eventually. It should have happened a long time ago. This is a good thing. So why do you look so sad? Because I'll miss you. Don't worry about me. You're finally going home. I don't even know that I want to. Don't get me wrong, it sucks here. But it sucked at home a lot more. And what about Trixie? Actually, I have great news about Trixie. Her release date was pushed forward. I've asked your mother if it's alright if you guys give her a ride home. Apparently she lives very close to you. That's the best news I've heard in years. As for your mother and sister, you have to face them eventually. Maybe things will be different now. Maybe the time away has made your sister realize how much she's missed you. That's the funniest damn thing I've heard all day. You obviously don't know my sister. You're right, I don't. I assure you, that makes you blessed. You see, my sister is the human equivalent to a bald-faced hornet. She doesn't need a reason to sting you. She's just an asshole. You're laughing, but I'm serious. Satan himself won't even return her calls. I'm gonna miss your humor around here, Bella, but we both know you don't belong in this place. Not to mention you're even stronger now than when you first came here. There's no reason to be afraid. I didn't say I was afraid. My sister is the one that should be worried. She's in for a big surprise when I get home. Bella, calm down. It's good to stand up for yourself. But just don't carry this place with you once you leave, okay? You're much too smart to put yourself down to Olivia's level. You're probably right. All I can promise is I won't mess with her if she doesn't mess with me. Look, before my mother gets here, could I say my goodbyes? Of course you can, but I'm afraid you don't have very long. I want you back here in 10 minutes, okay? Your mother should be here by then. Oh my god. <sighs> Wearing something other than this uniform is gonna feel so weird. Listen, warden. Sir, before I leave, I just wanted to say... 
Thank you for believing in me. From the day I got here, I really felt like you had my back. I'm not used to that. That is to say, I've never experienced it once in my entire life. You're literally the first adult to ever see the good in me. Everyone else for one reason or another has been poisoned against me by my sister. I know you probably think I'm exaggerating. No, I don't. I completely believe all the unfair things that you've been through, Lola. Lola? 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 Who's Lola? Yeah, well, thanks. I think you've probably been a better parent to me than anyone I've known. You'll never know how much your support meant to me, but I hope you know that I'm a strong person now in large part because of it. That's so nice. I'm really gonna miss you. Um, anyways, I've gotta go say the rest of my goodbyes. See you around, Warden. So, what did your bestie want to talk about? What's wrong? Well, you and I are leaving Trix. Excuse me? Yeah, apparently they moved up our release dates. So we're going. Like, now. My mother is on her way and she's driving us both home. Wow! I mean, that's good, right? Safi, I hope you'll be okay here. I'll miss you so much. Oh, I can handle myself. We all know the two of you don't belong here. You should have never came here in the first place. Well, I'm glad I did. Or I wouldn't have met the two of you. Look, we don't have much time, but there's something I need to do before I go. What's that? We're going to take your bracelet back from Jerry. What? You'd really do that for me? Trix, you're the first real friend I've ever had in my entire life. It's because of you I can leave here today knowing I had the strength to take on Olivia. And before I do that, I've got to finish things here with Jerry, which means busting her ass and making her own up to all the up things she's done around here. I can't leave until I get Trixie's bracelet back. It means so much to her and what kind of friend would I be if I just let Jerry and her goons get away with keeping it? I'll pull off the perfect heist to take Jerry down once and for all. Okay, here's the plan. Um, Jerry, don't look now, but, but what? We have company. Oh, Darcy, you made me think it was somebody important. Safi isn't anyone special. Bella isn't with you, is she? Shut the hell up, Cass. We're not afraid of her, remember? What do you want, Safi? What would your HBIC say if she saw you talking to me? Bella's gone. She's leaving. Trixie will be gone soon too, and I'll have no one here. I'm failing to see why that's my problem. This is awesome news. I can finally take my rightful place as leader, and I can finally sleep with both eyes closed again. Shut up, Cass. The point is, I'm not in a very good headspace right now. I was kind of needing something to take the edge off if you catch my drift. I heard that maybe you could help me. This is just too precious. The second Bella leaves, her minion crosses over to the dark side. Just forget it, I'll take my business elsewhere. Wait, I'm sure we could work something out, as long as the price is right. You're not serious. Business is business, Cass. Just tell us your choice of poison, and I'll give you a price. Oh really, you will? Thank you. That was all I needed to know. What? Hey, where are you going? We're in the middle of a transaction. So, she bought it, and Trix was right. She told me to choose my poison. She also told me that she hoped I overdosed, but that's another story. She did, did she? Thank you, Safi. Trixie and I can handle her the rest. I think she might have tricked us, babe. Do you think I'm so stupid that I can't see that? Hey, get your ass back here now. Why are you running? So, so you're the bitch with the drugs, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's hilarious. Haven't you figured out by now, Jerry? I find out everything around here. Even when I'm gone, you still won't be leader. Nobody likes you and nobody respects you either. Oh, did that bitch just slap me? Hey, what the hell are you doing? No! Yeah, you just got knocked out. Hey, wait! Oh, don't worry, I won't ruin your street cred. If you're willing to right one of your many wrongs to my friend here. How do you want me to do that? Yeah, bitch. Oh my god, that was like the most epic exit ever. And I can't believe you got my bracelet back for me. I don't know how to thank you. Can you believe that Jerry had hidden it under her mattress this whole time? Thank you for your help, Safi. We couldn't have done it without you. Yes, you could have. I'm quite convinced you could do anything, Bella Burke. Thanks, Saf. So I guess this means it's time for us to go. This isn't our goodbye. Just, I'll see you later. We'll all be together again real soon. But in the meantime, Trix, don't you dare take any shit. You hear me? I won't. And Bella, if I found out you let that bitch sister of yours bully you again, I swear to God, I'm kicking your ass. As it suddenly hit me that I was temporarily saying goodbye to the place that helped me make me who I am today, and I did something I hadn't done for a month. Oh, she cried. I cried. There hadn't been too many people who had shown me kindness, and Trixie and Safi saw something in me that I didn't see in myself at the time. They didn't have to be so kind to me, but they were. They showed me exactly how friends were supposed to treat you. My time here was something I would carry with me for the rest of my life. Even though I knew the goodbye was only temporarily, 
I was really going to miss spending my days with Trixie and Safi. Now, let's get our cute booties out of here, young lady, before they change their minds about letting us out. You're right. Gotta face real life sometime, right? Stay in touch, all right? Of course. See you soon, Saf. Peace, girl. And kick her ass, okay? Drop kick that bitch and tell her it's from me. You know I will. What will happen when you rejoin the world and a changed woman? Are you ready to are you ready to take on Olivia? What will Harley think of the new you? Find out on the next chapter. Oh my god, guys. Okay, that chapter was so good. There was so much that happened. Like Harley and my mom and me and Trixie and Jerry and Safi. Oh my god. I'm excited though to show Olivia the real the new improved me. She's not gonna step on me anymore. So yeah, and wait, Harley hasn't visited me again? That was the first and last time he visited me. That's kind of sad. But I'm excited for the next episode. I think the next one is going to be so interesting. <sighs> this is almost over, guys. We have three episodes left, I think. And that's actually really sad. But I hope you guys liked the episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, subscribe down below. I love you guys. Do not forget to love yourself. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace out, Scouts. Bye.